guys, welcome to the vlog. It is Thursday. I've just sent the kids off to daycare. And now I am sitting in the playroom amongst the filth. It is so messy in here. But while they're at school today, I'm actually going to do a massive purge of toys. I'm going to get rid of as much as I possibly can because they just have too much. And with Grayson's birthday coming up and a new baby coming that will bring her own set of toys that she likes we need less stuff so I'm gonna get rid of so much stuff but this time I'm not going to sell it which will help me get rid of more I'm gonna send it to mum dad's house instead so they have toys to play with there um, because then I feel better about getting rid of a lot of the stuff because they still will be able to play with it just not in my house where I have to clean it up I have about 45 minutes and then I need to leave Jake and I are going to a very important appointment today and we'll be talking about that more later on, hopefully before the boys get home from school. We have a big announcement that we will be making. And what else do I have to do? I have to do lots of cleaning and groceries is on my list also today, which means I need to do a grocery budget, um, a grocery list and a meal plan. And I hate doing that, trying to find food for all of us to eat and different recipes and stuff, but that is what my day will entail today. So I'm gonna get started with this before I have to leave because I also need something to eat before I go because I'm starving. yesterday of me cleaning up the playroom. Um, I will show you all the toys I managed to get rid of when we go out the door, out the garage door, they're hiding in the garage. We we're all having a snack and then we're going to the park. 10 o'clock in the morning and it's actually not too bad outside today. I should actually touch my phone. Well I'm standing here. So forgot to charge it last night. We have a bit of stuff to do around the house. And I have to go get Odin a new bed today. A um, couple of deep cleaning jobs. And we also need to sit down and do a big announcement today. I don't know if Jake's going to sit with me and do it or if I'll do it by myself, but I will do that a little bit later when the house is more quiet. Yesterday, I forgot to film anything else because my memory card got full halfway through the clip that I filmed yesterday. I don't actually know when it died. Or when it got full. And Thursdays are always just really hectic for me, so I often forget to film on a Thursday when the boys are here because they get so caught up in doing as much as they can while they're not here. Good morning, handsome boy! Hey! Yeah, now he's cleaning behind the couch. We'll do that when we get home. Look at your outfit, everything's too small. <laughs> Finny, Finny, turn around and hold your arms up in the air. Got this! Where's your belly? Nah. <laughs> I've been trying to put the boys in like everything that they have for winter because a lot of things we don't actually like rotate between very often because I like particular pieces on them most of the time. They have like a lot of jumpers and stuff that they don't wear very often so I'm trying to <laughs> rotate everything to see how much clothes they actually have. And so Finn has like an outfit on that he hasn't worn this winter yet and his pants, his jumper and his shirt are too small. <laughs> So after the park, he's gonna get out of that. I'm gonna wash it up because he's just eaten and gotten it all dirty. And then it's gonna go in the two small pile. The house is trashed. Are you ready to go to the park? Yeah. Handsome boy with a handsome haircut. Woo woo! Oh, oh, you're dizzy. You like to pretend you're dizzy, don't you? Oh, where's your water bottle gone? Okay, grab it, and then we'll go to the park. I didn't know I was telling a lie It's been a long day for sure How could I resist your smile? Can we move on as before? What happened to your leg, Baba? What happened? You still want me snacks? How rude. Show me. Oh, I know. Sit down. 
You want to lay down? Want to change your pants? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Do you? It's mine. Grayson pushed Vino over at the park. And he got a big old gash on his leg and it cut his pants. Lucky they were too small for you. Poor Bubba. You've lost a whole layer of skin, Bubba. Oh no. Oh no. I have changed into a comfier cardigan because that jacket was so big and puffy and it was annoying me. But I have one kid in bed. Well, actually, they're both in bed. One's going for a nap, the other one's in quiet time. I have a couple of things I need to do before I go to Kmart to get Odin a new bed. But I thought this was a good time to sit down and do our announcement. I was going to get Jake to sit with me, but um, he's playing games and he wasn't going to say anything anyway. He was just going to be a, a figure sitting next to me. So I figured I'd just do it by myself. Easier. I don't have to try and get him off his computer when it's gaming time for him while the kids are in bed. Six years ago when we were in year 12, Jake left halfway through the year and enlisted in the Australian Defence Force and he has been serving ever since and as of the 16th of June this year he will no longer be a member of the Defence Force. We haven't ever shared that Jake is in the Army for privacy reasons because um, it can be really dangerous to share that kind of information online but since he's getting out I think it's okay to say it now. I have sometimes accidentally had things in the background that I haven't bled out or stuff like that, but I've, we've never actually shared that we're in the army. But that is why we live 10 hours away from our family and in the middle of June, we are going home. It's super scary, super daunting that we're going. Um, Jake has to find a new job because I can't find a job at the moment because I am so pregnant. Um, there's no point in me trying to find a job at this point. And with my pains, I couldn't stand up and do any sort of job for any amount of time anyway. So we're currently trying to get Jake a new job so that we have money. <laughs> it's all super scary, but it's definitely gonna be for the best. I'll go more into like my feelings and thoughts about it, I think next vlog. I just want this to be like a more of an exciting announcement video. I don't know why I'm holding a pen. But yeah, we are going home. There'll be a lot of exciting vlogs, moving vlogs, traveling vlogs, because we'll have a travel day. Um, packing, well actually we don't have to pack the, um, the defense hire people to pack for us. So we don't have to actually pack anything. But yeah, there'll be a lot of interesting vlogs coming and we'll be going to live with my mum and dad for a little while until Jake gets a job and we can apply for houses and get a house, which I'm super excited about, finding a new house. There's actually one available right now, like just around the corner from mum and dad, like it'd be a one minute walk and it's such a perfect house, but I don't know if it's still gonna be available whenever Jake finds a job and we can like apply for it. I hope so, but I don't think so. A big announcement. We are so excited. This is what we wanted ever since we left. We have been here in Adelaide for two and a half years. It's our, technically our second posting, but our first posting was at home. So this is our first real posting. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to go home. The kids miss their grandparents um, and aunties and uncles and cousins all the time. Grayson always says at least 10 times a day that he misses his family. So he is so excited. I don't think they go, they don't understand the concept, I've tried to tell them so many times that we're going to go live in the same town as Nanny and Poppy, but he does he doesn't get it. But he is excited to go and live with Nanny and Poppy, but I think he thinks we're still gonna come back here eventually. But we're not. So we only have about three weeks left and then we will be going home. We are getting rid of the sofa bed because we don't need it anymore. The only person that's gonna be coming to stay at our house is my best friend and she can have Grayson's bed. <laughs> and we'll put Grayson in a trundle instead um, or in like a block bed or something. So we don't need the big ugly black leather sofa couch that I hate with every being in my body and it takes up half of the playroom. It's disgusting. So I have to go give it a clean because someone's actually coming to look at it tomorrow. And 
there's a big black stain on the carpet right behind it, which makes the couch look really gross. Although it's got nothing to do with the couch. The kid just like spilled something on the floor. Um, so I want to go clean that so that it looks nice. So it doesn't look like someone's pooped on the back of the couch or something. So I'm going to go do that and do a clean up around all the toys, pick up all the toys and stuff. And then if Grayson hasn't fallen asleep yet, I'm going to take him to Kmart with me because he loves coming shopping. But he is super, super cranky today. So we will see how we go. You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands. I am so exhausted. This kitchen is trash. I just cleaned it. Injected milk prep and now it's trashed. Wow. Honestly, oh, my camera's gonna die. <laughs> I just leave this clip before you die, please. Can you see me? Finley needs water. I'm about to start talking and Finley decided we need water. I am so, so, so tired after cleaning. I only cleaned this end of the house. But I also cleaned, I just thought, a wall. Here you go, because obviously when we move, we have to have the walls clean. So I'm just trying to do it slowly because there's a lot that has to be done around the house. Thank you. So I'm just like doing this one wall or one like cleaning type thing a day extra than like house cleaning. What are you doing? No, no, don't touch that. Wiping up the bench. Doing this time because he's in timeout. Literally been five seconds. Because <laughs> we decided to try and throw a packet of mints on the floor that's open. Well, it's like empty, but it has like remnants in it of mints because it has to go out to the big bin. Seriously, man. Right, Finley's out of timeout. And Grayson wants to paint. He's actually been asking me for a couple of days, but I just keep forgetting because whenever he asks, it's like not the right time or Finley is napping and I'm not going to pull the paints out for one kid to play with. Might as well do it whenever. Whoa! Both of them are wanting to do it. So we're going to do it now. It's like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to make dinner in half an hour but why not? Why not? But we have to move away from the couch. That's the only thing. <laughs> move the table a little bit. You want to use black. How about we choose a different one, not black. Which one do you want, Grace? Let's pick one. This one. Which one, Finny? Orange? Orange. Uh, All right. Orange. 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 What's that egg doing? Painting blue. He's painting blue, yeah. Look at Is it Benji? No. No, it's a doggy. No. <laughs> no, it's not dead. <laughs> it's a doggy, Finny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go fish in it. It's got a, yeah, why is there a fish on it? Well, I actually don't last very long. This is why I don't usually do crafts with them very often because it seriously was like not even 10 minutes. Like you get it out, it gets messy, they get messy, you gotta continuously clean the whole time. And they walked away from it in not even 10 minutes. Seriously. Oh my child, I know. Hurt and you can't let go It's not your fault and you don't deserve 